Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be nitrating some cellulose to make flash paper. To start, you'll need to purchase some cotton paper like this. It doesn't need to be this brand, but it will need to be 100% cotton paper. Take about three sheets and start having them with scissors. Cut them to the size of about a credit card. Here we have 150 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid from the hardware store and about 60 milliliters of 92% nitric acid. Both have been cooled in a lab freezer. Take the nitric acid and very carefully pour it into the sulfuric. As you probably know, both of these acids are extremely dangerous and corrosive, so be sure to perform this outside or in a fume hood with all the proper lab safety gear. The dark color of the sulfuric acid is characteristic of the brand that I use. It becomes clear later and does not affect the end product. After the nitric is added, swirl the solution to fully mix. Now grab your cotton paper in a glass rod and start adding the paper one sheet at a time. Stop after you've added about 10 sheets. Be sure that you're using 100% cotton paper. If you do not use 100%, you will not get a clean burn and will be left with ash. Properly nitrated paper will leave little to no residue. After you've added the sheets, you will need to let them sit for at least 15 minutes in the mixed acid solution. While we wait, let's take a real quick look at what's going on. When we mix the acids, the sulfuric donates a proton to the nitric acid and creates a nitronium ion in situ. Here's a chain of cellulose molecules. The nitronium ion attacks the OHs, replacing the hydrogen. As long as there's enough nitronium ions, they will replace all the hydrogen and will be left with this, nitrocellulose. As you can see, the nitrocellulose has everything it needs to combust. All it needs is some activation energy to get it started. After the 15 minutes is over, remove the paper from the acid mixture and place them in a clean beaker. Now add 10 new pieces of paper to the mixture and again wait 15 minutes. Do this two more times or until you have at least 30 pieces of paper done. Now it's time to wash the paper. Place the beaker in a sink and pour cold water over the paper. Dump the water several times and refill. Then remove the paper one by one and wash thoroughly. It is important to get all the acid out. After washing each piece, place them on a paper towel to dry overnight. Now comes the important part. To be sure that the nitration was complete, we're going to again make up a solution of the two acids this time 100 milliliters of sulfuric acid and 50 milliliters of nitric. We then re-add each dry piece again doing the whole process over. This will ensure that the end product will burn completely and cleanly. You can omit it if you like, but I find that some sheets may not burn completely. It's up to you. On the second nitration be sure to also wash thoroughly each piece to remove all the acid. After a day or two of drying, you can now test your paper. I cut each credit card sized piece into four smaller pieces, but you can do an entire piece if you like. Simply light each piece and then toss. They never make it to the ground. As they fall, the fire spreads so fast that the entire piece disappears in one flash, hence the name flash paper. Nitrocellulase degrades over time, so if you make a lot, like me, it is best to store it in a plastic bag in a freezer. If you leave it out for several months, it will turn into a strange goo that is not nearly as fun to play with. Placing it in the freezer stops this from happening. Anyways, thanks for watching. 